when you make a plan, your best plan is going to have a plan B, plan C, plan 4, plan 4A, and all of that. And then there's going to be a, a plan further down the line, which is open. Well, I recognize this is less than ideal conditions to do a video, but you know what? Inspiration comes when inspiration comes. And thus, here I am in the middle of my trail run, thinking about stuff, airplane overhead, breathing awkwardly and sweating. Definitely not camera ready, but I show up anyways because, hey, I'm here. I'm here for it. Let's do this. Okay, so today's video is about, and I think I've touched on this before when I've discuss goals. But even if you don't have like hardcore set goals with a, a plan directly in place, undoubtedly you wake up some mornings with an idea of how your day is going to go. Maybe even you did plan out the day or the week or whatever it may be. The point of this video is to share with you my personal experience today with my run. My goal this year is to reach the ability to run a half marathon. I was at about 10 miles of length. It was the longest I'd ever run. It kicked my butt, but I was getting closer to my goal. And then I injured my, my calf. Had to take a couple weeks off from running, working my way up. Now I'm topping out about three, four miles. I'm working on five miles today. Taking this little breather here though. And my plan for running is to run every single Sunday morning. Get up early, have a light breakfast, let it digest, and then go for my run. Today's plan got interrupted. I had to go into work. I had to get up at 4 a.m. Oh, there's probably wind noise. Sorry. I had to get up at 4 a.m. and be to work by 5. No, leave home by 5 and be at work at 5.30. No time to run, of course, in the morning. So then after I was done working, I got home, had some water, and decided I'm going to go for my run. i got to run every Sunday to build my endurance. My day has been changed. My run has changed. I'm not, the timing of the day is different. I can make tons of excuses to not go on a run. I could make tons of excuses as to why today's run isn't going quite as I had hoped. But I'm still doing it, still following through and doing the best I can with what has happened. Now, that is a very simple version of, let's say, you need to be somewhere and your car gets a flat tire or just plain old doesn't work. Or something happens that they lay off people at work and you happen to be one of them or you're not and now you have twice as much work to do to make up for those poor folks who got laid off. You can have all sorts of plans in your life. Written down goals with actual structured plan or just mentally plan on having something happen. The best plan you can have, the most powerful plan you can have that will come to fruition eventually, barring natural catastrophes, but I think you get where I'm going with this is to have a plan that's flexible. When you make a plan, your best plan is gonna have a plan B, plan C, plan four, plan four A, and all of that. And then there's gonna be a, a plan further down the line, which is open to whatever happens, whatever comes up. And this is not just to plan for things that are gonna come in that'll disrupt your ability to move forward, but what about those things that come up that allow you to move your plan forward faster? Things happening sooner than you had planned. Are you prepared for that? Can you take the next three steps quicker than you had planned? Are you able to then advance and take advantage of that part of it? And that is the thing that happens. I can tell you that does happen. So when you are thinking about your day, your plan for the week, what to expect, your overall big goal plans, do not forget to come up with variables that could happen and think about how you might handle those variables. And then also be aware and give yourself permission to go, I know that there's gonna be variables that come up that I won't expect, that I don't even know exist yet. And I will do everything I can to stay centered and look at my options and make my plan flexible from there without losing sight of my goal and with a big picture of what I want to do. That is your simple, quick little video from my trail run today. And I think I've wasted enough time now <laughs> uh, and caught my breath enough that I can get back into trying to reach my goal today of five miles. See, I'm being flexible. I have a plan, got a flexible plan. All right. I hope you've been enjoying these videos. If you haven't heard yet, 
which if you've seen the last few videos, you probably know, I've got a podcast now. It's called We All Have Something, in reference to, of course, that we all have something going on. You can't deny that, good or bad, there's something we have. And it's an extension of my coaching. It's an ability to sort of look at life as far as, you know, topics so far, procrastination, uh, personal growth. Um, most recently, I put one up that was about regret and get gratitude and how they can go hand in hand, but they're not mutually exclusive. They also see other emotions. Uh, so, you know, tune into that anywhere you listen to your podcast. You can check that out or down below in the description of this video, you can find links to the podcast webpage or my personal webpage and all my other social media down there as well. You can even text me if you like. I'll put that number right there. There you go. Text me if you like. All right. Well, I'm going to get going with my run and I hope you have a good one, everybody. Bye.